Good day, my dear learners. Welcome to my English class. I am Ma'am Angelica, your English teacher today. Are you ready to learn? Let's begin. Today, we will learn about Example of a homograph is the word well. The first meaning of well is a hole dug into the earth to reach a supply of water. Example, the two brothers dug a well in their yard. The other meaning of well is in a good manner. Example, they work well together. Let's read another example. Anna was supposed to close the door. The close here means to shut. And the second sentence, the students are sitting too close to each other. The close here means near. Some homographs are also pronounced differently such as the word wind, which may be pronounced as wind, means the movement of air, or wind, which may be pronounced as wind, which means to turn, twist, or coil. Take a look on this example. The wind is strong today. The wind here means the movement of air. And the second sentence, does this path wind through the hills? The wind here means to turn, twist, or coil. Let's have an activity. Are you ready? For practice task 1, read the sentence and encircle the correct picture for the underlined homograph. Number 1. The goldfish has shiny scales. Number 2. The carpenter used a saw to cut the wood. Number 3. Jamie started to swim toward the bank. Number 4. There is a letter for you. And number five, take a right turn on the intersection. Who among you got the correct answers? Okay, very good. Let's clap our hands together. Let's proceed to practice task 2. Read the sentences to the right. Read the underlined word in each sentence. Match each sentence with the word that shows the underlined word's meaning. For number 1, the word is clip. I will clip 
your long hair for you. Please clip the papers together. For number two, the word is check. Check to see if the cookies are done. Mom wrote a check to pay the man. For number three, the word is bat. The black bat flew into the cave. Swing the bat and hit the ball. And for number four, the words are nails. Dad used the nails to build my chair. Can you paint my nails for me? Who got perfect? Wow, that's amazing! Everybody clap your hands together. Let's now proceed to practice task 3. How is the underlined word used in each sentence? Choose from the list of possible meanings the one that best fits the sentence. Write the letter of your choice. The word is row. A. To move a boat onward by means of oars. B. Line along which things are arranged. C. A succession without a break in time. Number 1. They won three championship games in a row. Number 2. Put on your life jackets. I will teach you how to row. Number 3. She sits on the second row. The second word is sound. A. Showing good judgment or sense. B. Completely. C. An auditory impression or tone. Letter D. Healthy. Number 4. The medical test showed that your lungs are clean and sound. Number 5. We can play now. My baby brother is sound asleep. Number 6. Find out where that irritating sound comes from. Number 7. The teacher gave us a sound advice regarding our summer plans. The word is tip. A. The pointed end of something. B. A piece of advice. C. Money given for a service performed. Number 8. Follow the dotted lines with the tip of your pencil. Number 9. Uncle Jonas usually gives the waiter a generous tip. Number 10. Rico got a tip from his father on the proper use of a fishing rod. Congratulations! So, what is homographs? Can you give me examples of homographs? Can you use your examples and sentences? For your evaluation, draw lines from the word to the picture that shows their multiple meaning. Who got perfect? Wow, that's amazing! What have you learned today, class? Kids, for your output for this lesson, you are going to make a bookmark of a homograph word that you want in order for you to enhance your vocabulary. You may use your available materials at home in making and doing your output. But, what is a bookmark? It is usually a marker for finding a page in a book. You can make your bookmark a homograph like this. Can you make your own bookmark? 